Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Dawn Marie here, and today, bitch, we are doing an eight year hormone update. Oh, I want all my clothes designer. Ski, I'm just kidding. I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much already. Today is an eight year hormone update. It has been way too long, bitch. I think the last time I did a hormone update was my three year hormone update or something like that three or four i don't know you guys let me know but i it was i know that it's more than like three years ago it was it's been a minute bitch and there's some updates we need to talk about i've been on hormones for eight years now my eight year hormone mark was october 11th i believe somewhere between october 11th and the 15th but um i was meant to do this video last month but it's just a little bit over the time that you know was meant for it but it's okay it's okay we won't be petty we won't really like go too much into that we won't do too much we won't do too much okay i just want to talk a little bit about my journey as a trans woman so back in 2015 you know we, me and my family were just moving i was just really feeling you know ever since like my senior year in high school you know i started to get more into like the girly phase and the makeup and dressing and the short shorts and the crop tops and all that and you know, I was really feeling my oats. It just wasn't enough for me. And I just always felt like there was this puzzle piece that was missing and that like I could go the extra length. But at the time I had no knowledge about the extra lengths that I could go and the steps to get there. Not up until I had my good friend at the time, her sister sent me a link to Gigi Gorgeous's IG page saying like, look at her makeup, she's gorgeous, yada, yada, yada. I don't know if she knew that she was trans but I certainly did not and so when I looked at her page I you know I was just looking at her makeup admiring her fashion and you know I was just going on a tangent about it. and then I looked at her YouTube channel and then found out she was trans so I'm just like a light like went off in my head like ding and I was like oh my god this is like the missing puzzle piece and like this is how to do it like I found out it is possible for me to do this so like bitch let's do it chop chop i think like that same night that i found out i texted my friend brianna at the time my best friend and i was like oh my god like i'm trans like i'm a woman like i knew it i knew this was it and i knew that it was like a groundbreaking moment because like i started bawling tears like on my bed and just like i felt sad happy scared and all these different feelings all in one i think any trans person can relate like once you find out that you are trans you're just like like what do i do next like what are the steps it takes to get here early on in the beginning of my transition i m was really close with um this guy that i was good friends with at the time and i stayed with him weeks at a time and i was working at target and i started to put like little braids in my hair because i had like um long at the top but like fade on the side here so like i like put little uh crochet braids in it and then i put in a ponytail and was doing makeup and called myself she her but at the time like obviously bitch i did not look like a she her and like kids at target would clock me kids are so ruthless they will clock you in a fucking second bitch like you're a he bitch <laughs> it just was so amazing that his family and he let me like stay with him and like rediscover myself like his sister helped me with my name and you know and they were very supportive and like would like find things and research things and just like hyped me up and it made me feel so good and that's exactly what I needed in that beginning of my transition I'm no longer friends with any of them I do think that people come into your life for a reason and a season honey and it was definitely for a reason they definitely were a huge part of my transition and I still do have love for them but I think that everyone has just moved on from that part of the journey my journey as a woman has been very interesting I found myself really looking for validation in men and thinking like oh like if I date a really hot guy or for like if I have a boyfriend it proves that I'm a woman and like now that I've gotten older like I'm just like I'm a woman because that's just who I am not because like you know I'm with a man and like I'm like his arm candy and like that's just like the stereotypical bimbo pick me ass bitch and that's just not who I am I've definitely outgrown that um but you know I was in relationship to relationship back to back to back and I never really took time for myself like 
I know who I am and I've discovered a lot about myself but I focus on me my career my life what I want to do put more videos out and you know a lot of you were asking me like you were on the rise down like why did you stop filming um because I was in toxic ass relationships back to back that were draining my energy so I didn't have energy for y'all to film you know it was really really like consuming it like drained me like I didn't have any time to do what Don wanted to do but all that's over so we're gonna focus on me the next time I get with someone it's not gonna be to validate me as a woman it's gonna be because they add to my life and I add to theirs and I genuinely have love for them and I just know that things are gonna run smooth and it's a very positive environment you know I don't want to get into something that is extremely toxic ever again because I've learned the red flags and the ins and outs and I'm just not doing it so let's talk a little bit about the medication that I'm on so I'm on the estradiol valorant injections one milliliter and I'm still on the 100 milligrams of spiral actum now let me give a disclaimer this video is in no way shape or form me telling you guys to self-medicate because if you do you are a dumb bitch I'm just letting you know now just letting you know now you are a dumb bitch please do not medicate the reason self-medicate the reason that you should not self-medicate is because you have the risk of blood clots and you could really hurt yourself um, the point of an endocrinologist is to take your blood work see what's wrong you know if you have any issues and to prescribe you the amount and dosages based off of your blood and your hormone levels in your body and like what you need so like the only the doctors can really tell what you need now I know that there are people in different countries and states that really don't have access to like insurance and the money to do so to get um, medication so they self medicate but I really 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 am against that please don't do it if you can please get a doctor or something like there's so many things out there that you could do um there's folks they really do have cheap trans health care like you send in your blood work and it's really really cheap I think like a hundred to two fifty a month based on insurance I think like I think insurance helps out a little bit but really like check that out guys like so i was on the estrogen estradiol uh pill form for about like six years and although it did like give me a lot of progress i just really feel like it wasn't giving me my optimal results because there'd be the schedule was take one in the morning one in the middle of the day and one at the end of the day by the end of the day sometimes i was going out with friends or going out to a club or something and i just would sometimes forget also in the back of my head subconsciously I know that I was like Ugh, I don't want to do this it's so strenuous because I don't want to swallow it because I don't want it to go through my kidneys and my liver I would put it under my tongue and let it dissolve so I don't have to sit in one place not nonverbal for like 10 minutes letting this shit dissolve under my tongue like it didn't taste bad like it had a sweet little undertone to it but still like it just was inconveniencing me and so I figured out that the injections you do it once every two weeks so that's much better for me because I'm very forgetful when it comes to having to be on a, a schedule with the hormones and it just works better for me to do the estrogen um, injection I started the estrogen injections two years ago it is fucking amazing like I definitely gained a lot of weight as of recent but that is not due to the estrogen injections that I'm on that is definitely due to me emotionally eating because I was in an extremely extremely toxic relationship and it really took a hold of me so like I know you guys can see it in my face I look like more puffy than usual you could definitely see it in my body but I definitely have lost a lot of fat since a few months ago because I've been eating snacking less at night I've been going to the gym more and I've been taking care of my gut health and so it really has made a difference you guys are so cute for not saying anything but I'm gonna throw myself under the bus bitch I was big I'm definitely slimming out again and getting back snatched because <laughs> your girl is not used to having a double chin bitch that's not me no fat shaming on this channel but just for me and my goals in life that's just not my journey babe it's not my journey but in the beginning of my transition I had a really boxy waist and although being on hormones did help me curve out a little bit waist training is definitely 
been a huge factor in why like I have more of like an hourglassy midsection. Um, so I would highly suggest for like my male to female transgender women um, and girls who are transitioning and just feel like their midsection is looking a little more square and boxy and masculine to waist train. Um, you could start with like two to three hours a day, work your way up until like four to six and then a full eight hours. Um, I definitely stopped waist training for a minute when I was in my toxic relationship. It was just uncomfortable to wear because like I was gaining a lot of mass in my midsection. But like now that I've lost some pounds, like it's easier to wear. It's not really like suffocating me and I'm not like, Ooh, can't breathe it. Like I could actually like, you know, breathe. It really does help. It's like, if you think about it, think of it as like braces. Like the more you continue to like wear your braces and go to your dentist appointments and get them tightened and keep up with the maintenance, like it'll definitely show results. But um, think of that like with your waist trainer. Like the more you wear it, the more results you're gonna see and the more happy you're gonna be. So get out of it. So I'm gonna show you guys my current physique, eight years on hormones and two years on estrogen shots. Now, like I said, don't judge a bitch. I did gain weight, ho. Don't play with me in the comments, okay? Okay, so here's me from the side. You can see my arms, okay? You can see my chest. My, boot, my breasts really do fill out this top, like, really well um yeah let me zip that up because that's not cute what is happening okay another side view i don't know if you can see can y'all see i don't know if you can see okay but the ass is asking okay i definitely do give a lot of props to hormones okay like the way that the fat distribution works for like the hips and things and all that jazz is spectacular. However, a lot of my progress with like my thighs and like my tush is definitely due to the gym. Um, because a lot of girls think that because you're on hourmones, you're gonna get this automatic hourglass physique, you're gonna have like an apple bottom and all that. Let me tell you that is not the case. It definitely depends on your genetic makeup. A lot of girls opt for like getting a BBL for a more feminine shape and um, all that. And I think that maybe that might be in my future. I don't know, but I'm liking my body right now and I'm wanting to see what I can do naturally with the gym um, for like hip dips and stuff like that because I want like more of an hourglass shape. Worst case scenario and last, very, very last resort will be to get a BBL. Um, and you guys will definitely be updated on that. A lot of people have this misconception that bones change on hormones. That is not the case. If you started hormones pre-puberty, then you definitely have a chance of like having a smaller frame and like your bones shaping in the way that it would if you were born a woman. Now, for the girls who went through their first puberty for a little bit and then changed into that second puberty, um, your bones definitely will not change, unfortunately. Sorry to break it to you, bitch. But it's not gonna change. Um, fat redistribution is just gonna help and muscle tone going down and, you know, everything kind of like becoming a little more petite due to the fact that the fat and the muscle is changing on your body. Um, but bones do not change. Please do not think that. That is so far from the truth. And if you believe it, I'm going to pray for you. I'm here to let you know that is a myth. Let's not. Let's not. Let's talk about my sex drive. So I definitely think because I was missing a lot of estrogen pills and I was missing a lot of doses and like not really taking them as consistently as I was supposed to, my sex drive was like through the roof. As I started like hormone injections and like it's very consistent, I definitely can feel that like if I'm not mentally or emotionally connected to you in here, then it's just not going to happen and I just don't feel that with you because it's all mental for me. I don't know if it's like that for like, you know, when all women, but like for me and like a few others that I've talked to, like 
that are very consistent on the hormones, that is definitely the case. Um, you need to have an emotional and mental connection with this person before just like, you know, doing the do. Um, so definitely it's not going to be your same sex drive same sex drive as if you were a male it definitely weakens um also depending on the dosage that you are on i kind of like it because it just it makes you not sleep with fuck boys like if you can read the room really well and understand what is happening and when a man is just simply trying to court you to get into your panties a very very helpful factor in those particular situations because you're not just going to give it up to anybody as far as like body hair and skin like my skin is really dry um but really soft i don't know how those two go together because you would think otherwise but my skin got was really oily before like my pores were larger my face would get very very oily like when i was wearing makeup really really quickly especially around my nose region now like when I'm done with my makeup, I have to put on a very, very hydrating setting spray because like, if not, then I will look frozen and like very cakey and dry. And like, I have to do very, very dewy makeups now. Like before like hormones, I had to do like very mattifying, but now like I need dewy. And even then with that, like the least bit of powder makes me look like a statue i don't know if that makes any fucking sense but like yeah that's just how it works for me like my skin dried out i don't know if that goes for any of y'all's journey but for my journey i'm a dry hoe so i need serums i need double moisture i need retinol hyaluronic acid double that bitch down and all that type shit so uh yeah it just that's just how it worked for me as for body hair i can go like two weeks without shaving once I've shaved my body and like it'll be like very very sparse growth um I noticed that before hormones like that wasn't the case like it was like a brillo pad and like I was like growing hair like a fucking gorilla in my opinion it is better like I started shaving my legs in 10th grade in high school and like the hair would grow back within like two days and it would be very prickly and not cute but now it's just you know I stay smooth like I right now I haven't shaved for like a week and a half and it I can barely see anything like it's very sparse and not all the follicles are like growing a piece of hair like it's it's amazing I love it now if you are someone who's known to grow a lot of body hair that's just gonna be how it is for you depending on your genetics like with skin body hair all of that is genetic like another thing like the scents on your body like you know your sweat and all that I noticed that mine definitely had like this musky manly scent before hormones but now it's it's very like if I sweat it doesn't have a scent and I know that's definitely due to the hormone change so overall that's just how things have been for me and my eight years of transitioning and i'm excited for what's to come in the future i have been going through with like the therapy that's required and making and putting everything in line for me to get my bottom surgery because that is definitely in the books for me i just feel like once i have this procedure done like getting intimate with a partner will definitely feel more like me being at home within myself and my body a lot of girls like you know come on here and they'll say like don't do it there's so many risks and all this and all that but like there were so many risks and other things with all the procedures that i've had done too and like i'm happy about it so like you know would i change a few things probably but like so far i'm happy with how things are when i'm out in public i get addressed as ma'am miss she her there's really never any misconception about whether i'm a woman or not i think that's just the final step for me and in the past i definitely let a man tell me that i should keep the body part that i have now due to the fact that they were uncomfortable with like a trans woman with the vajay kitty cat purr purr um and i really let that like alter my decision because i was in love with him at the time and that is no more and i've come to terms with the fact that this surgery is definitely what i need for me in my transition that's that and that was pretty much it for this video y'all um please share with me 
things about your journey and your transition or if you're planning on transition or if you just came out and like you know just let me know all of your stories i'm open ear to hearing what y'all gotta say i love you guys so much i miss your faces i'm sure you guys are always like where is this bitch like she's always on a hiatus bitch stop going mia i know i'm harder on myself than you guys are on me in my comments and my dms trust me thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and this type of content let me know what other things you guys would like to see and that'll be all have a good night or a day wherever you are in the world and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. oh oh bitch oh Lock to that OnlyFans though. That OnlyFans, yeah. Lock into that OnlyFans. I'll put it on the screen right here. I know you want to see. Mm -hmm. I know you do. I know you want to see all this. And if you do, the link will be in my description and on the screen. All right, for real, y'all. Gotta go. Gotta go. For real, y'all. Gotta go.